I'm gonna be sharing with you guys all my favorite sports romances. I've been reading these like crazy recently. I don't know what about it it is, but I just love sports romances. I have a list of nine books that I wanna talk about today. Most of them are on my Kindle, but some of them are books I own, but mainly all of them are on my Kindle. So now the train wants to go by. As soon as I start filming, this always happens. So the first two books I'm going to talk about are part of the same series, and that is Until Friday Night and Under the Lights by Abby Glines. Let's talk about this one first. So Until Friday Night, this is a YA sports romance book. It is set in high school. She moves in with her aunt and uncle and her cousin who live in, I believe, Alabama. So she moves to Alabama, and her cousin's best friend is a boy that she kind of falls for. She has a lot of trauma for the reason that she moved to Alabama. She doesn't really talk and the guy is very like brash he's very kind of just out there and kind of needs to learn how to respect some people they start to have like a connection they start to fall for one another and you see both of them go through very very hard things and you go and you see them go through these things together and they learn about each other and there's the character development in these books it's amazing he is a football player and she just is a high school girl. I really enjoy these books. These were one of my first ever like sports romance books I've ever read. I love them so much. These books are pretty much what got me into reading like years ago. So yeah, these will always have a special place in my heart. And then the entire series, there's seven books I believe to them. I own five of them. I've only read the first two, but there is like a big series that goes with this with like their friend group that they have. So the next one is Under the Lights, also in the same series. This is about Willa, Gunner, and Brady. This is kind of a love triangle of childhood best friends to lovers. Brady and Gunner are both a part of the football team. They've been best friends since they were literally children. And Willa's also a part of this childhood best friend kind of group. She goes through a lot with her family and so years later she's a completely different person than they than she used to be, you know, whenever they were kids. But yeah, it's kind of a love triangle of childhood best friends to lovers. It's so good. I love this book so much. I personally love like love triangles. I think they're kind of interesting to read about. Um and the fact that these are all childhood best friends to lovers like just something about this book is so good and if you just want like an easy book to read that's like YA, it's super fast to go through, then pick this up. It is also a sports romance. Um, it's very good. And then the last physical book that I'm going to talk about is The Score by L. Kennedy. I would recommend this entire series, but don't love the entire series. If you don't know, this book is a part of the Off Campus series. The Off Campus series is five books long. Then there's a spin-off series called the Briar U series. I read all of them except the last one in Briar U, but the score. This one is my favorite book out of all of them. I love this book. I love Allie and Dean. Allie and Dean are in college. They go to Briar University, which is like one of the Ivy Leagues in this world. Dean is a hockey player, so it's a hockey player sports romance. Allie and Dean are part of kind of the same friend group and Allie breaks up with her boyfriend she just completely does not want to like be crying over him anymore so she goes to Dean and they start like a friends with benefits kind of thing but it turns into more as it usually does and this book is so good to see like their character development to see how they both change for one another and just to be better people just in general was absolutely beautiful I loved this book so much it is my favorite one all of L. Kennedy's books in this series they're all kind of they're good but they're not like great like I rated all of them either a 3.5 or a 4 um none of them were really like a five star for me but they are like easy quick books to read through if you just want something to like read and if you just want to kind of get out of whatever you're going through and just sit down and read a book in one sitting you can absolutely do these with these books yeah they're pretty they're pretty all right and the score is my favorite I don't know how many times I have to say that but you should all read this one so the rest of the books I'm going to talk about are all on my kindle so yeah the first one is icebreaker by hannah grace this book is so good i gave this one a five stars it's one of my favorite books of 2022 if you have not seen that video that i did last week make sure to go watch it but this book is also set in college it is a hockey player and ice skater sports romance the girl is the ice skater and the guy is a hockey player at the college that they go to this one also is grumpy sunshine but the girl is grumpy and the guy is sunshine i love books like that so much because he's very golden retriever and she's just like get away from me like i don't like you like that 
this book is so freaking beautiful. It really focuses on the character development. Of course, there's a plot of the hockey player, something happens to their ice rink that they have to use the figure skaters ice rink. And the figure skaters are not happy about this because they're like, okay, these are just nasty jock boys like we don't want them here and something happens to the main girl's partner in ice skating and the boy the main guy has to step in and be her partner and it was so just great to read about because it's not all about that it's also really about their growth as people it's also just about how a relationship is supposed to look like like very communication they talk a lot about how they feel and about the situations that they go through and it's just so beautiful to have a book that is fiction but just kind of shows you the right way of how a relationship is supposed to look like and this book was just so beautiful i loved it it is one of my favorites and i will never stop talking about it the next one i have is consider me by becca mack okay, i need to look up like what the characters names are because i don't want to keep on saying main girl and main guy so consider me follows carter and olivia olivia is a high school pe coach and teacher whatever and then carter is a hockey player this is not set in college this is set like after college after they graduated but carter plays for a national hockey league team they meet through friends that they like both know because his best friend and her best friend are together they've been dating for like a year and carter is like your average hockey player like he's arrogant he's rude he's handsome and the girl is just like oh, i can't be with him like i don't like him like that whatever it's so cliche but it's also so good. You get to see them kind of both let their guard down and let each other in and just fully understand what it's like to be in a relationship because this is Carter's first relationship that he's ever been in. And she kind of gives him an ultimatum like, okay, you either be with me or you don't. And he chooses to be with her. And it was just so cute because Carter's head over heels for Olivia. Like this entire book is just him being like, I love her and I want her and I will fight for her. And he does just that. And Olivia is just kind of standing back like, do I trust him? Do I not? And she has to learn how to let her guard down. It was so good. It was so cliche, but it was like such a comfort kind of book Like I would definitely read this again if I just needed something like a comfort book to just get me through something You know the next four books that I'm gonna talk about are a part of the same series It is the Dirty Air series by Lauren Asher. This is a Formula One racing book series team thing This book series actually got me into Formula One itself like I genuinely try to keep up with it and I try to watch it now. I think it's so interesting. In this series, we have Throttle, Collided, Wrecked, and Redeemed. Same as the off-campus series, like they're not amazing, like five star, but they are like the 3.5, four star kind of books that just give you the butterflies and make you fall in love with the characters but it just but these books are just so good like they're very cliche but they're really good so the first one is throttled this follows noah and maya in this book maya's brother gets added to this formula one racing team and his teammate is noah now her brother and noah are enemies they kind of got into a little debacle like couple years ago stuff happened they like hate each other but now they have to kind of work together in like a formula one team you kind of work together and like also work against each other because you're trying to win like individually but like as a team you want to do well if that makes sense so they have to learn how to work together and maya decides to join her brother traveling around the world to go to these formula one races and along the way she runs into noah obviously and they kind of form a little connection they try to be enemies they try to say they hate each other but of course that doesn't work out because obviously they end up together like everybody knows it you're reading a romance and you know that the characters are going to end up together but you're just like wanting to follow the story so it was really good i personally love this book this is probably my favorite one of the entire series so the next one is collided and this one you follow sophie and liam sophie and liam kind of become friends sophie's dad is the principal of like liam's f1 team but they kind of start to form a little friendship and sophie Sophie comes up with this list of stuff that she wants to do before she has to go back to school because her dad is like, you can only be here for the summer while you're off of school, but then you have to go back. And Sophie's like, I just want some freedom. And her dad's like very overprotective of her. Liam offers to help her with this list. It's kind of just like, think of Judy Moody in the Not Bummer Summer, but like adult, if that makes sense. It's really good. I also really, really love this book. This is like 
one of my favorites from the series. I know there's only four, but like Gato and Collided are my two favorites. But this book, especially like just the way that they meet, the way that they do not know each other at first and then they meet up again. They're like, oh wait, like I'm gonna be with you for a while. I don't even know how I feel about this. But this book has a lot of jealousy in it. This book is obviously friends to lovers and just their connection is unbeatable. And I love these two characters so much. The third book of this series is Wrecked. This follows Jax and Lane. Jax is a alcoholic and kind of drug addict and he's a very brash character. He's very rude to people around him. Elena comes in and she is hired as like one of his PR teammate people to like make his public image look better because he is not doing well in the public eye and the Formula One team that he's on is like, okay, you need to be better like in the public eye or we have to drop you and that's where Elena comes in. But this book just follows that and but this book also really talks about depression and anxiety for men really Really, really really well I think it really represents how like men also go through these things because you hear girls talk about it a lot but like men are taught to like keep their feelings to themselves but this book really brings out of like if you need help you need to go seek it even as a guy like you shouldn't be afraid to do that this book was really really good there's some things that Jax did do in this book that I was like okay no like that could have been avoided altogether but whatever dude but yeah i really like this book it was great and then the last book of this series is redeemed this book follows santiago and chloe santiago is maya's brother from the first book throttled and then chloe is a girl from the u.s from new york who goes over to i think spain is where it's taking place at to try to find her birth father they run into each other something happens they meet and then they have to pretend to be dating it's so incredibly like funny how they meet what they go through and just like their connection this book also does talk about like depression for men and anxiety because Santiago goes through something in one of the last books that he has to now kind of come over in this book and Chloe comes in and she kind of really helps him with that and he also helps her with like her dad's stuff it's just really interesting because these two characters who genuinely do not want to be like together whatsoever they end up helping each other in such a beautiful way this book was just so good i don't even know what book they were on but the next one is say you swear by megan brandy i'm not gonna tell you too much about what happens in this book because i genuinely believe that you need to go into this book blind because it is so incredibly good i reread this twice within like four months of each other this book was so beautiful it follows ariana and her friend group she has this really big friend group and they've all been friends since childhood and they go to high school together they go to college together and her brother and all of her friends play football at this college and it's just so much more than like a football romance it's so much more than a cliche college romance like it's so beautiful this book is just so good i don't want to tell you too much about this book just because like if I do, I think I'll end up spoiling it and I don't want to do that. You just need to read this book. Like, you just need to add it to your TBR. The next one that I'm going to talk about is Culty by Mariana Zapata. Oh, Culty. I love Mr. Culty. I love him so much. So this book follows Sal. She is a part of a women's soccer league and a new coach that comes in is Culty who is a big, big soccer player and he comes in to kind of coach these girls but he's very rude. But Sam has been in love with this man for absolutely forever. Like he was the reason that she loved soccer so much for whatever reason but she meets him and then she's like oh my gosh you are one of the most rudest people that I've ever met in my entire life. It's a grumpy sunshine kind of book, which it took me a while to like get into because for the longest time I did not want to read any of those. But this book is so, so good. Sam really teaches Colty how to kind of get out of his shell and to stop being so mean to the people who are trying to help him or stop being so mean to the people he's trying to help. I loved this book so much. Colty is probably one of my favorite characters by Mariana Zapata, so is Sam. Just something about him, like he really tries his best, but he just doesn't know how to express his gratitude or how to express how he's feeling. And Sal really teaches him that. It's very beautiful and it's very cute, just how the relationship starts. And you have to go through a lot to get to the relationship, but it's so worth it because you also go through this amazing growth with Sal to realize that she 
doesn't need to be stuck in one place for forever and it's just it's so beautiful and I love it and then another Mariana Zapata book that I have on this list is hands down this book comes after the wall of Winnipeg and me actually because in hands down you get another player from the football team that the main guy from the wall of Winnipeg and me was on and then you also get another friend from the wall of Winnipeg and me so in this book you have Zach and Bianca Zach is a national football player or whatever and Bianca is this kind of YouTube cooking star person she like makes cooking videos on YouTube and that's like her job they've actually known each other since they were pretty much kids at least in high school I know for sure because they came from the same town and now they end up together somehow again they weren't ever like together whenever they first knew each other but I kind of consider this to be like a second chance romance like they have a second shot at getting to know each other and falling in love but Zach is the biggest teddy bear in the entire world like he is so sweet he is so patient with Bianca and Bianca is just like very shut off to everybody she just wants to focus on what's going on in her life she doesn't want to add a man to her life but Zach is very persistent and he's like I, you just need to not lean on yourself all the time and he kind of teaches her that and it was so beautiful to read about it's been almost a year since I read this book so I don't remember too much of it but I do remember loving it and I do remember just loving the characters of this book by Mariana Zapata. All the other ones I've read by her I haven't really been like super in love with but this book is just so beautiful. I love both of these characters so much. And then the last book that I'm going to talk about today is The Upside of Falling by Alex Light. This is another YA romance. This book I gave it five stars. It is one of my favorite favorite books ever it is so good it's not completely like mind-boggling it was just a book to like get me out of a slump and i ended up loving it so much but this book follows becca and brett they go to the same exact high school and brett is a football player at this high school but whenever they're out in the hall becca is talking to her ex-best friend and her ex-best friend is like why don't you have a boyfriend like ha 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 you're so lame and then brett walks up to her and he's like hey how, how are you like i haven't seen you since this morning how's your day been going Becca just sits there and she's like, this is my boyfriend. And they end up fake dating. But the entire time, Brett is in love with her. It is so good. This book is just everything that I needed. And it also does just have a lot more than like a cliche, cheesy football player romance. Like, it genuinely is so good. It really focuses on character development and growing up and just being in high school. And I just thought it was so freaking beautiful. I love this book so much. It was amazing. And I probably will end up buying the paperback and reading it again. I feel like I've been talking for absolutely forever. But those are all the sports romances that I have to talk about today. I love these kind of books so much I think they're so fun to read they're very cliche but they're also like so good for whatever reason that there is lately I've been on my hockey player sports romance binge and I need more I need more recs if you if you have any recommendations for me please let me know or drop down if you liked any of these books or other books that you have on your tbr that are sports romances let's just share with one another you know that'd be fun but yeah i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to comment like and subscribe and i will see you all in my next video i love you and peace out